Today, I'm gonna to be curling my hair with the brand new Dyson flat iron. The hardest part about curling your hair with a flat iron is that your hair has a tendency to kind of glide out of the plates when you twist your arm. The Dyson straightener, however, claims to have flexing plate technology, which basically sandwiches your hair very neatly into the middle of the iron. Are the curls smoother than with other flat irons? Can you execute the look faster? Is it easier to do? Find out right now. Let's go. What's going on and welcome to the channel. My name is Gabby and this is Glam Girl Gabby. This is your place to come and learn realistic beauty and fashion tips for the modern woman. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button below. Join me every single week. Let's be friends. I have done a review of this Dyson flat iron already on my channel. If you guys want to check out that video next, then I highly recommend it. I go through all of the individual features of it, everything that it claims to do. I go through a list of pros and cons and I also straighten my very curly hair with it to see how it works on an actual very curly texture. So that's an interesting video. If you want more information on this actual tool, then go check out that video next. So let's see how this performs in terms of holding the hair in place. Very good. So let's just straighten the ends out a little bit. It's very curly. It is quite smooth. It definitely works. And I am actually finding that my hair is staying in the iron much easier than it would with another traditional iron. I don't normally love to do flat iron curls. I just find that the hair, I don't really like the way that they look so bouncy. But I also don't like that the hair tends to kind of glide out of the ceramic barrel really easily and it just doesn't ever really work out. So I've been looking for a type of iron that will give me this fast, smooth, wonderful result. Um, I didn't like the time iron. I did a review on that. You know, I, I didn't like the Chi Lava Spin very much either. There were some good things about it, but some things that I really didn't like. So the only thing that I'm really loving for curling my hair lately is a curling wand or a curling iron, but that is, you know, can be a bit time consuming. So if the Dyson creates a really smooth, beautiful, wonderful curl quickly, and the hair stays in the plates without so much of an effort, that will be a huge selling point of this iron. Yeah, so it's definitely working. I like my ends to be a little bit straighter, so I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit on that side. So it's funny because in my Dyson video, I was mentioning how I'm not really all about the cordless life. Like I don't really get why anyone needs a cordless iron. I don't really see the purpose of it. I never really changed my mind too much about things like this, but I gotta tell you when curling your hair, actually not having a cord is quite convenient because you're not having to deal with it as you're twisting the iron. You just get to twist freely, pull through, and it's just a non-issue. Finding that the hair is staying in the barrel really, really, really well. It's kind of gliding through like butter, which is crazy because that was one of my biggest critiques about this iron when I reviewed it. I was finding that my hair was having like a gritty, crunchy sound as I swept through it. It could be because right now my hair is smooth and then my hair was very, very curly. So this might be the type of iron that works a little bit better on like a blown out hair or on smoother hair. I'm finding that I'm getting a beautiful consistent curl which is indicative of like very regulated temperature and also a very smooth regulated glide. So that's all good, so far so good. I don't really have any cons about this yet. going very quickly like I can't believe how fast I'm getting through my hair and it's giving me that kind of modern long bob wave that you know we're all after so let's put this tool to the test and let's compare it to my babyless pro nano titanium 3000 iron i really love this iron i talk about it a lot if you're interested in a review on this specific iron i'll definitely do it let's try to do 
a piece with that one and see if we notice any difference. The problem with the Dyson is that it is just so damn expensive. It's really hard to justify spending 700 Canadian dollars on a flat iron when you can get one like this, although it not it's not cordless, it's very, very, very good for about $200, maybe 300 if you're not um, like a professional hairdresser. But even for 300 versus 700, that's an enormous difference. So this has to massively outperform. I didn't find that it outperformed when I was straightening my hair in my first review video, but I am very impressed with how it's actually curling the hair. Let's try this one and see if we can see a difference. Okay, so this one curled as well, but I do see a difference. What I see is that I, get, I got a little bit of a kink here in the hair if you guys can see it, whereas the Dyson really created a really smooth, curly result. I think because this iron, you know, well, I can't even say it's because it's so hot because I put them at the same temperature setting, but it did kind of leave a little bit of a kink, which is funny. And the hair at the bottom did slide out of the barrel. This is hard because I like this iron. It didn't blow my mind. There's a lot of things about it that I don't necessarily love. But when it comes to actually creating a curly look, I did find it incredibly easy to use. Um, it gave me the result that I was looking for with a minimal amount of time. There was no hair sliding out of the barrel. So if you have the money to invest, you want to wear your hair in this kind of natural soft curl and you want to do it in a relatively quick and easy way, it's a great flat iron. It really is. It executed. It did. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some more hot tool review videos, then check these ones out next. I'll see you next week. Bye.